I was lazy when it came to tuning my guitar. You can ask me, hey, is your guitar tuned up? And I'd be like, yeah, I tuned it last week. Because I wasn't tuning my guitar every single time I picked it up, I was lacking the ability to be able to hear the contrast between my guitar perfectly in tune and it being slightly out of tune, which can make a world of a difference. Now I tune my guitar every single time I pick it up because after developing my musical ear, is what they call it, I cannot unhear when my guitar is out of tune. It's just to the point where it's not even enjoyable jamming on your guitar when you can hear that your strings are even even the slightest bit out of tune. I promise you, once you get into the habit of tuning, you will start to get irritated when your strings go out of tune because you'll hear it and be like, I can't, I can't keep going on. I can't keep strumming. Now, if you need help tuning your guitar, I do have a full tutorial on how to do that. You can check out the card right here or I'll have a link down below and I can help you with tuning. If you need help tuning your guitar. I remember my first guitar teacher being so annoyed with me. Every single week I would show up and my nails would still be long. And he told me every single week, Michelle, you will struggle with your chords until you consistently start to trim your nails. Nails. I was just lazy. See, there's a pattern here. Quick funny story. I was 15 when I first started taking guitar lessons, so I couldn't drive myself to lessons, which was to my benefit because I started to actually file down my nails as my mom was driving me to my guitar lessons. So I would go into lessons and the nails on my left hand would be super short and then the ones here would just be super long. <laughs> I think he probably knew what I was doing, um, but I just filed them down in the car. If I could go back to my past self 10, 11, 12, 13 years ago and tell her not to be intimidated by that song that she really wants to play, I would. I hit a plateau so hard I couldn't play anything past chords, simple strumming, and some simple finger plucking. And everybody's guitar path and goals are different, so if you just want to do strumming and simple chords, that is perfectly okay. For me, I had always envisioned myself to do more than just those things. Anything that was finger picking or single note riffs, I didn't think I could do it. If there is a song out there that you wish that you could play, but you're super intimidated by, get out of your comfort zone. I held myself back for such a long time because I got in my own way. It's just, it's a mental game that we play with ourselves and we think that we can't do something because it seems hard. And I'm not saying that it's not hard or challenging or time consuming, but if you really try and you stop judging yourself, you will see firsthand that you can learn any song that you want, any technique that you want, you just have to want it bad enough so that way you have self-motivation to go out and do it. I used to jump from song to song aimlessly with no plan. And because I was also staying in my comfort zone, these two things really held me back. When I started having practice sessions that were focused, but also fun at the exact same time, I started to see an immense amount of growth. Your practice sessions need to have two things in order to be effective. The first thing you need is to be having fun because if not, there goes your motivation. It can feel like practice is boring, but it doesn't have to be. Practicing guitar can be so much fun if you set it up to be that way. Play songs that you love, set up your practice space and brew some coffee, whatever is just gonna make it fun for you. The second thing you need is structure to keep you focused. I'm not talking about strict mundane things that bore you because like I just mentioned, you need to be having fun. Fun should be the priority. Just think back to why you picked up the guitar in the first place. It's so important to be aware of the things that you know that you need to work on so you can improve your skills, but also by keeping it fun at the same time. It's a balance. My seven day practice Practice Planner and Practice Planner Plus help you to create and design your specific practice sessions to make them both focused and fun, which are the two elements that make them the most effective. So that was my top four lazy mistakes that I made as a beginner guitarist. If you have any that you would like to share, let me know down below and also let me know which tip helped you out the most.